Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle rant. Today's topic, Nasser El Sambadi, my good friend. May he rest in peace. He's always in our thoughts. Uh, there is a YouTube channel out there that loves to repost old clips of things. Mostly, I think the channel is mostly devoted to, to my clips uh, from old training videos and guest posings. And that's all cool. I don't even care. I don't even, I never report them. I think it's cool. Whatever. If people want to, you know, honor me or some of the past people with uh, old clips they've taken from other videos, that's cool. And I have no problem with that. But, you know, I, for years I've been telling Nasser stories. Because Nasser El and I go back. We have this, like, antagonist-protagonist relationship. Uh, if we were out guest posing together or at a show, we would hang out. We'd be best friends. And then, you know, behind my back he would badmouth me like he did to everyone. But that was Nasser, And, you know... After Nasser retired, you know, he was just very bitter, and he, he kind of disappeared from the scene. But um, ever since he passed, you know, like I said, may he rest in peace, because I really do miss him. I, I like to do Nasser impressions and tell Nasser stories. And I think a lot of people think that I embellish these stories. And, you know, I, I say, oh, yes, uh, this person, they disrespected me. I, uh, these judges, they, they put the blind guy before me in the, in the lineup, and uh, I am disrespected. And uh, I am so much uh, smarter than these people, and these, uh, these are uh, dunces, and they are cretins, and they are trying to tell me what to do, and I speak 20 languages. And, you know, I, I tell all these funny stories about Nasser, but people, I think these don't believe, you know, no one can conceptualize that anyone could be like that. Well, this guy who has this website that puts up these old clips found a clip. Now, you got to remember, before, at the Mr. Olympia contest every year, they would make the, the competitors dress in suits for the press conference. And I think before the press conference, or maybe right after, they would record little interviews with these guys, and they would take a clip of it, and they would put this little interview clip up before they would walk on stage and do their posing routine. Okay? It was kind of like, it added like a little added, you know, kind of insight into who the person was. So, they must have been filming Nasser for, I forget what Olympia this was, and... They have an outtake. I don't even know where this guy got it. It's, a, it's classic Nasser El Sambadi. You could tell that he's irritable because he's dieting probably. He doesn't respect the, the woman who's interviewing him or the woman who's running behind the scenes. And he just wants to get out of there. And in typical, like, nasty, ar uh, arrogant Nasser fashion, okay, we get a true sense of who he was. And this is, like, total classic Nasser. Let's roll the clip, and then I'll come back and I'll comment on it. My name is Nasser El Sambari. I'm uh, 35 years old and I do live in uh, San Diego, California. Where are you from? Um, I think this doesn't matter. Okay, excellent. <laughs> what got you into body? Do you want to hold it? Oh, believe me, what got me into body it takes too much time. I think it's okay. totally unimportant. Okay. Okay. Let's put it there. Thank you. What got you to the 2001 Mr. Olympia? Um, I would actually uh, like to say rather something else if you okay. let me talk, okay? Please. Okay, uh, I can start talking. Yes. Well, I don't know. I, no, it sounds. No, no, it it sounds good. Believe me. Okay, but I I I, I will stop you if it's not appropriate okay. for our TV show. Okay. Okay, this is my uh, ninth Olympia qualification in row, and um, the last few years I was actually smaller than I was supposed to be because I wanted uh, to do uh, or actually to have a different impact on stage. But I'm uh, going back to the same old look, uh, being big, hot, and uh, for sure striated and uh, also symmetrical. And I hope it will definitely make an impact uh, on this year's Olympia. Great. Um, did you want to ask him a couple of other questions? Like who his mm -hmm. hero is? What package do you need to show the judges that will beat everyone else? Oh, you can't answer this. No? Okay. That's okay. We'll give you another one. Who's your hot hero in bodybuilding? Who do you admire the most? I don't admire anyone. <laughs> Who do you want to beat most? No, I don't want to you be anyone. Be no, no, no. Heroes, no cartoon characters, no Arnold. No, I'm saying just in life as an individual, somebody who inspires you personally. No, no, no. no. You don't have any... Do you have anything to say to someone trying to start out in this bodybuilding, watching you, a fan? Mm, no. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, that is classic Nasser all the way. Uh, you know, that's the Nasser I know. Who do you admire in bodybuilding? I don't admire anyone. <laughs> Just, he didn't. He thought he was better than everyone. And that's, that was the truth. That was a true statement. You know, uh, you know who do you look up to? No one. You know, that, that's, that's Nasser. That's the Nasser I would hang out with. And if, you know, if we were at a show and fans would come up to him and say, you know, 
uh, Nasser, you know, what's the secret to dieting for a show? He'd be like, uh, I eat French fries, you know, I eat French fries. And he would, he would just be condescending to people. And like, it would be like, like he was disgusted that people would ask him such a simplistic question, what he felt to be, you know, uh, ab above his, you know, intellectual level, you know, or below his intellectual level, I should say. And, and, and that was Nasser. And uh, I mean, I don't know where this clip came from. It is a gem. Uh, I know Nasser comes off really bad in this clip, but it really, this is, he's in a very bad mood, obviously. He's hungry. Uh, they're making these guys do interviews. Nasser doesn't really, never really respected women too much anyway. So I have a feeling if there was a guy interviewing him here, it probably would have been a little more respectful. Not much, but a little bit more. <laughs> Every answer he gave was absolutely the truth. That's one thing with Nasser. You always get the truth from him, you know, uh, in terms of how he felt. Now, he might lie about other things about, you know, did, hey, Nasser, did you hit on my girlfriend when I went to the bathroom? I don't know what you're talking about. No, I, I, she is probably making things up because, you know, she is trying to get into a fight with you and, 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 and create tension. And he would make up a whole crazy cockamamie story. But that... You know, little clip was probably one of an enormous amount of stories that probably people could tell. If I got, you know, my friend uh, Josh Friedman here, he hung out with him. If I got, you know, probably guys backstage who were with Nasser at the time competing against him, I, get, I guarantee you Lavroni. I, I remember Lee Priest told us a story about how they were overseas and they were, uh, I think Paul DeLette and Lee were eating like, you know, French fries and burgers. They had just said, all right, you know what? We competed five times already. We had enough of this. And they sent a piece of cake over to Nasser, you know, at a restaurant. And Nasser lost his mind. Like, he was like, who, who, who would send this, this, this cake to me? I, I, I do not understand it. Oh, 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 those guys over there? Oh, very funny. Ha, 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 ha. You guys are, you have the IQ combined. It is less than mine. And that is why you're doing juvenile pranks like this. And, and, and that was Nasser. And you know what? When I watched that clip, I have to tell you what I thought to myself is I said, Nasty, you bastard. Why did you leave us so early? You could have been great, a great commentator, a great social media person. I probably would have been battling with him constantly, I'm sure, on social media because he would have been going in, because he would have been jealous and he would have been going after me and saying stuff about me and I would have had to get him on. And, 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 but it would have been great. We missed, I mean, we missed the best of Nasser. Nasser's best wasn't on stage. His best would have been off stage because he had such a wry sense of humor. He's sarcastic and he had a photographic memory. He knew every freaking detail from every encounter he ever had with anyone. He would tell me stuff that we did, you know, five years earlier. I'm like, how did you remember all those details and what, what the conversation was with some girl that he said and, and a comment he made to a waitress and a guy he, you know, the comment he made to a guy in a car. He was in the back seat. I'm like, Nasha, how do you remember that? He, he had an absolutely photographic memory. So the truth is that sometimes people's greatest talents are lost because they don't understand and nurture those talents because they're too caught up in themselves and they take themselves so seriously. Dr. Wayne Dyer, may he rest in peace, one of my mentors and a guy who's, if you want to read a great book, he's written innumerable great books. Um, he said it best, don't take yourself so goddamn seriously. And on that note, I'm Dave Palumbo for another RX Muscle Rant.